Record oil prices? Record profits. Last October, BP was in the money. With petrol prices up, BP made six and three quarter billion dollar profit last year. Not everyone was happy about it. It's opportunism on a bigger scale. Um, I'm just flabbergasted that people like BP haven't reduced their prices in direct proportion to the cost of crude's reduction. The government needs to put a windfall tax on these greedy oil companies in order to make sure that the millions of vulnerable people and less well-off people can actually pay their heating bills and eat their homes during the winter that's on us now. Fast forward to July 2009 and what a difference a few months make. Today, BP's announced its profits for April to June this year and they're down 53% on last year. Quite a reduction, but that so-called slump still represents a total haul of 3.14 billion US dollars. That's 1.9 billion pounds. They're doing their best to compensate for the loss. The company says it's already cut $2 billion in cash and it's expecting to make savings of a further billion dollars during the rest of the year. The company's chief executive says the figures are helped by a 4% rise in BP's daily production to the equivalent of 4 million barrels of oil in those three months from April to June. A lot of the change is down to the flip-flopping of oil prices. They've hovered at between $60 and $70 a barrel recently, but that's well off the high of $147 seen last July when BP was doing so well. But it's also up from the $30 lows of earlier this year, which have helped contribute to today's fall in profit. BP's announcement will be closely analysed by experts in the oil industry who want to see how output cuts by the oil producer cartel OPEC and attacks by militants in Nigeria have affected growth in the oil sector.